Hello everybody. Sorry I'm late. I was feverishly looking for a really important prop for today's live. And you'll understand in just one second I had to take the tag off. You know, because I got to take the tag off. Okay, so here we go. There we go. So, hello. What shade goes with Santa's hat? So hard to tell. Uh, I think we'll do this. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so welcome to Monday Live. I hope y'all are having a great start to, to your, I can't believe it's already December 13th week. Um, I guess it's Wednesday today. Because I played hooky for a couple of days. My husband had a meeting in, um, well, it was in a suburb of Chicago. Um, and so I was lucky enough to hitch a ride with him to Chicago to join him for the, um, for the meeting. He worked, I shopped. And I had all these really big aspirations of getting all my Christmas shopping done and being all ready for Christmas. And as it turns out, I mostly shopped for myself. <laughs> so whoops, I didn't mean for it to happen that way. It just sort of did. I, do you guys have that problem where you're trying to Christmas shop for others, but yet you want to go into the stores that you would like? And I really rarely get to go shopping. Um, I just, I'm always working or I really just, I don't, I, you know, as I've gotten older, I really don't like shopping as much. But shopping has become less painful because I fit into a larger selection of clothing, including some of the cute little stores. So my husband is done shopping for me, you know, unless he wants to go to a jewelry store. I told him I didn't go to any jewelry stores. <laughs> um, so anyway, but we had, I had a lovely time. <laughs> he seemed to not be bothered by my presence, but it was, it was just a lovely quick trip to Chicagoland. Now we weren't downtown, we were in the sur suburbs. And so he works um, at Case New Holland International. I don't know if that's the official name, but you know, Red Tractors. And, um, their building is in a, in a suburb called Burr Ridge. And I don't know if you guys have been there. This is the first time I'd ever been there. And I was like, whoa. And I hope nobody that's watching is from there, but I'm just going to have to talk about it for a second. You guys, I heard that Michael Jordan's like bajillion dollar estate is there and whoa, <laughs> like, like there were houses that looked like castles really. And there were like gates around the houses where you would have to punch in a code or potentially call somebody to let you in. And there were like a lot of those houses, like a lot of them. I don't think I've ever seen so many in such a small proximity. <laughs> They're such a, like, you know, I mean, every place has like, big houses, but like there were like the whole town was a big house. I also heard, I don't know if it's that town or right next to it. Um, we ate dinner in, I don't know if it was the same town or if it was a different town, but we ate dinner at this little cute little downtown area. Um, and it was like the neighborhood from home alone. So it was totally like, wow. I was like, what do all these people do who lived here? It was crazy. So anyway, 
I was impressed. And they all had lights. And I would have to believe they hired out the light hanging service. There's actually my neighbor owns a service that hangs lights for you. But this was something else. I was impressed. I wanted to just drive around the neighborhoods, but there was no time for that because I had to shop for myself. So I did get some things for myself. I did get Andy some presents, so that was good. And then today I kind of feverishly shopped for my daughter because <laughs> I couldn't find, well, she's really difficult, but it was, I don't know. So by the way, uh, we have no lights on the front of our house. <laughs> Like, I live on a little cul-de-sac and we're, I think, I think there's one other guy that doesn't have any, but we don't have any, but everybody else does. Oh, well. Um, yes, the Christmas tree is up. I didn't, one thing I was actually on the hunt for was a tree skirt. So I did not put like our family traditional type ornaments. I, years ago, I had it in my head and this was probably even before I had kids or they were too little to understand decorating. Um, I got like some clear and silver and frosty type balls and some blues a little bit but mostly like silvers and whites and clear. And um, the, the, so those ornaments I've literally had for like 20 plus years. And so I wore, or I wore, I uh, decorated the tree in that this year because I thought if Milo like knocks the tree over and those ornaments break, I don't care. But if the like the years and years and years and years of my aunt used to give me a Christopher Radko glass ornament every year, like I'm sure that were limited edition type things. They were, you know, beautiful ornaments. I've dozens of them um, and she's no longer with us. So I really don't want him to break any of those. One of our dogs, maybe it was izzy but maybe it was actually back to sophie one of our dogs broke like three of them one year and i was crushed so anyway i put up the tree with the ornaments i don't care about this year and of course milo has done really good he doesn't seem to care about the tree but it's down here whereas um he's mainly upstairs he's not down here very often because my husband is upstairs so anyway <sighs> So we preserved the good ornaments so that we'll be able to enjoy them for years and years to come. And yes, I do have my little tree here, but Whitney has been out sick for a couple weeks now. And um, this tree is up because it never got undone. <laughs> I put it away like this in our storeroom last year. So I set it there, but I haven't found the extension cord so I can plug it in. How bad is that? I mean, pretty bad, right? So anyway, <sighs> um, but we had, uh, we had a lovely, uh, we didn't do much this weekend, which was just what we needed because it's been a busy few weeks, uh, leading up to this. And so pardon my eye scratch. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, some, I saw somebody a while ago asked how my husband was doing. He's <laughs> mostly doing really well. He, I think is coming down with something he feels awful today, um, which I'm a little concerned about because I don't want to get whatever he has, but he's doing very well um, otherwise. And I just hope that he does not have whatever Whitney has because Whitney and her husband were sick for like 10 days, but she hasn't been here in about two weeks. So I can't imagine we have whatever she has, but I know it's been going around because Kelly is really sick right now too. Um, <laughs> we had a meeting with her we were supposed to meet yesterday morning and she's like I'm dying I'm going back to bed and then today we did meet and she um I love her but I just don't know um I don't know that she was feeling 100% today I know she wasn't <laughs> so anyway um I just don't I th this is not the time to be sick after a couple weeks from now fine but not right now so anyway too much to do and I've got all kinds of things that I'm trying to do so that I can take um, about 10 days off of work because I desperately need the break. I, like this little yesterday and the day before Monday, Tuesday was how I could get through 
the end of this month. I've been working a lot, um, and if I haven't been working, I've been busy, so I just, I'm really looking forward to some relaxation and rest and time with my family. My daughter finished her finals yesterday, um, but she forgot to take work off. Did I tell you guys this? Um, so she has to stay at school until the end of the week, but she said sh her finals, she finished early, so she was happy to help because she knows there's lots of other kids who still have finals that are working through those, so um, she was happy to help. She works at the IT center on campus, so we always joke um, about her, but anyway. <sighs> so, um, anyway, I am so so happy to be here. Sorry, I just got a text from one of my kids. Um, it wasn't what's for dinner, but I guarantee you that's coming because Carl probably doesn't realize I'm live today. <laughs> so anyway. All right. Well, I have some really awesome projects for you today and they all feature one product. Um, they, I'm using all kinds of different sets and stuff, but I'm, uh, there's one product I'm going to use on all of them, so I'm kind of excited about it. So I'm going to show you lots of different ways to use this. this. It's a punch, and um, and uh, let's see what else. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, I got some of my first Christmas cards, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, I know, you guys. Free shipping tomorrow. How have we not even talked about that yet? So um, Stampin' Up! has one final free shipping day tomorrow. So um, you can take advantage of this awesome deal and get all kinds of fun goodies. I'm going to have some suggestions. And um, the really awesome part about free shipping is, of course, I will have a gift with purchase. So we'll talk about that. It's going to be from the new catalog, and I can show you my pre-order. You're going to see some of it here in just a second. I'm just kind of polishing it off. I've been using it. <laughs> so um, I hope you'll be excited to see some of these things. But I, I have some, as I mentioned a minute ago, I've gotten some of my first Christmas cards. So I'm really excited to share those with you. Um as well as some other mail that I've gotten in my box. I have this cute little bag that Whitney gave me a few years ago, and um, it's got gnomes on it, because I love gnomes. So anyway, um, I'm really excited to share with you some of these things. So I'm gonna flip my camera here, um, and then say goodbye to the Santa hat, because next week I'll have something else. But I've got some fun, fun, fun stuff to share with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, oops. There we go. Here we are. This is the new glass mat studio from Stampin' Up. It's so big, you can't even see all of it. <laughs> um, so so it, I'll talk about it here in just a minute, but I'm very excited about it. I know you can see my my lights, but oh well, it is what it is. It's not. I don't think it's too distracting. It's it's not bad at all. But I'm excited to share with you some cards. Okay, so I love this one. This one came from Ramona. She's just so sweet. She sent um, a thank you card with a lovely little note um, for her birthday. That's so funny and. Um, she also said that her cousin is the captain with the police force in my town, <laughs> which is funny. I don't know his name, but I, I haven't had any run-ins with the law, so that's good. Uh, all right. <laughs> so here's another card. And by the way, um, a few of these cards are from a while ago, like, oh, this one's dated October 17th. I had put them away, um, for when my team was visiting in in this drawer where I have often kept cards, but I forgot they were there. <laughs> so I found them when I was looking for something else. <laughs> so I apologize if you're like, well, gosh, I don't know if she got my card. I did. I'm so sorry. So here we are. Um, so here's another beautiful card. This one is from Gloria, who's um, on my team, and she is just the best. So thank you so much, Gloria. I love that. Um, then I got this card. We've kind of had a, um, a blue theme here. 
This is another fun one. Of course, I love the set. Um, this is from Leanne. She is on my team and she gave me this card with her swaps from this month. And I just love this. Um, of course, this is the ever fabulous um, Pretty Perennial stamp set. If I can just say that, it's my stamp set. I love it. So thank you so much, Leanne. Here's another pretty card. This one is from Jean. You might recall Jean from winning our card um, our card contest drawing a, two months in a row. But look at this fun card that she sent me. I love this. Isn't that pretty? So thank you so much, Jean. And then here is another pretty card. I know I've had this one for a while. This is from Cynthia Otto um, saying thanks for the birthday wishes. Well, Cynthia, you are welcome. Or I don't know if you go by Cynthia or Cindy. Probably Cindy. But I love this. This is with the, I think, Cottage Wreath Bundle. Such a good one. I always love that. Here's a cutie patootie card. This is from um, Becky, who works for me. She's so sweet. She had surgery, and we sent her some flowers. And this is from the fluffiest friends um that's part of the online exclusives and this dsp is a little sneak peek from um our be mine uh bundle coming up okay then here's another cute card this is from <laughs> this is from sharon she cracks me up um <laughs> and I love this. She says, I hope you know, just saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. Hope you know how much your kindness is appreciated. So thank you. You are so sweet. And um, you are very welcome. I'm so glad you could join us for our retreat, Sharon. Then this card I had, I showed this in my team meeting, but I would forgotten to show it to you guys. This was just like the best card ever. Um, this card was made by Sherry from my team, and she made it on behalf of a bunch of people who attended my team retreat. That was at the beginning of November. And look at how pretty this card is, you guys. So um, it is just the cutest card. I love, I love the way she did it. Just so fun. And um, I think maybe this might be a card challenge. We'll see. And then in it was just so amazing. This is my my massage place. And you guys, I have a massage on Friday. So I was pretty excited. They gave me two massages. So that was just really amazing. And I'm so thankful. So thank you so much. So Katie, Ruth, Winnie, Tracy, Gloria, Janie, Kathy, Mary, Sharon, Sharon, Mary, Penny, <laughs> Greta, Shelly, Beth, Tammy, Natalie, Karen, and Sherry. Thank you so, so much. And isn't that just a fun card? Oh, love, love, love. And then here is another super cute card. This one is from, I think this was from Mary. Yes, Mary, who's on my team. And this was uh, a card that she created. I think this was one of our Turkey Stamp Camp projects, so very fun, or at least the fold was. So thank you so much. So then I've also got some Christmas cards here. So this beauty is from Francie, who's on um, my team as well. And she, bless her heart, sent me this. I had to take it off of my um, paint desk. So this is um, a, a painter, well, it says painter's cup. I was going to say it's a rinse your brush out cup. And um it's really cool too because it's got these little notches at the top and so your um you can put your paintbrush right there and it won't like roll off or get in the way of things so isn't that cool and it's um it's by the natural life which is one of my favorites this natural life company have you ever heard of them they do these really bright colorful fun um things a lot of them are painted I've got all kinds of stuff. Like, actually, I'll even show you. There's one right here. It's hanging on my wall in front of my, um, where I do, where I'm sitting right now. I just literally pulled it off. <laughs> anyway, I love that brand and it's so fun. And this is just so happy and colorful. Oh, it just, I love it. So thank you so much, Francie. This is just the best. Maybe I'll keep that down here. I don't know. I can't decide. If I should, because it, it would look really good in here in my office. And right now I have my water in a candle holder that I've had for like 30 years. So I don't know. We'll see. But thank you so much for <laughs> thinking of me. I just, 
<laughs> I'm so grateful. I tore that package open. She was telling me it was coming and oh, I was so excited. So thank you. I really appreciate it, my dear. Here is another just so such a nice, simple card. Isn't that beautiful? This one is from Mary, who's on my team, and she is just the best. So thank you, Mary. I love it. Another really simple and beautiful card. This one is from Carmen. So thank you so much, Carmen. Just love that one as well. Speaking of another super cute card, this is with a trucking along bundle. And this one is from Bonnie, who is just the best. So thank you so much, Bonnie. I really love it. And this is another cute one. I think this is actually the very first Christmas card I got this year. And this one is from Anne, who's just the best. And look at that fun fold. Isn't that cute? So much fun. So thank you so much, Anne. So I'm going to put these back in my little gnome basket. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. All right. Now time we oh we're just a few things to talk about real quick so as mentioned free shipping it's happening one day only tomorrow um december 14th one day only on orders of 75 dollars for more or more and when you spend 75 dollars in my online store you'll get the all-star pdf which features the garden um modern garden bundle as well as a goodie um from the upcoming mini catalog. It'll probably be an embellishment, but you never know. So I'm super excited about that, and I can't wait um, to enjoy a little free shipping myself tomorrow. I have some plans for what I'm going to order. So anyway, take advantage of that. It's a great time, and I'm going to suggest some fun things for you today that um, would be great to get with this promotion. Now, I also have two classes coming out this month, yet the Year to Celebrate online class features the Year to Celebrate stamp set, which is going to be super fun. Now, we're going to make some birthday card or some gift card holders. I guess they could be birthday or whatever you want them to be, but um, these are the little gift boxes from the uh, mini or the annual catalog, pardon me. So this is going to be a really great class. The cards are super cute. And then the Paper Florist Creativity to Go Kit I'm really excited about. I love this Paper Florist. I've already used this once in one of, one of my um, Sunshine and Creativity boxes, but I just felt like I have not done enough with it yet, so we're doing it for a class this month, so I've got more ideas for you, and I think you're really going to love these projects. Um, this We're going to use this set of dies uh, today on a card. So I think it's it's going to be a lot of fun. So you can get registered for the Paper Florist Creativity to Go Kit. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so we could start pre-ordering from the upcoming mini catalog. And one of the things that we could get is this glass. It's called the glass stampin up glass mat studio i think anyway it comes with three things the glass mat which is this thing right here which is uh lovely sized i don't know it's like 14 by 17 or something to that effect it also comes with this little silicone tray which is really nice because you stick it on there and it doesn't move my my phone is going to move but this thing is not going to move and it's the perfect size like a little stampin spot will fit right in here which is really cool or like if you've got, you know, little pieces from something. Um, let me give you an example that I think you'll like. So say you're working with some loose embellishments and you wanted to stick these onto your card, you can throw them in this little tray and then you can use your take your pick tool to pick them up and then they're not gonna like get lost all over so that's pretty cool and then of course you can put whatever other stuff you want in here and then this will keep it from getting all over the place so this thing is really cool it's not advisable that you move the mat I just wanted to get it more out of the way <laughs> so you don't do what I just did but anyway it's a really awesome thing then it also comes with this chamois type cloth now this is the same material that our um 
our chamois are made of. It's just thinner and a, a different color. So like here's one of my chamois. You can see it's thick um, that I use to clean my stamps off with. And then this is thin. So it's like an eighth of an inch thick, I would say. And, um, and it works, you know, very similarly. So you can use it to wipe off stuff on your glass mat. You can ink blend right on here. We're going to do that later. So um, a lot of people are saying, well, what do you do with this? And first of all, I love it. How many times have you heard me complain because my surface is uneven? My, my, um, this is linoleum or vinyl flooring. So this is nice and even. Um, it will clean up like a dream, which I'm very excited about. You can get ink on here, whatever. You can wash it off with the chamois that comes with it. It's really going to be awesome. Um, you can watercolor right on here. You know, it's like grid paper that you don't have to keep tearing off. So it's like a friend to the environment, if you will. So I'm very excited about it. Um, it's it's really going to be great. I've had mine just for a few days and I wasn't even here for some of them and I've already gotten a lot of use out of it. So I'm very excited. Of course, we've got a little reflection here, but we're going to get over that because it is awesome. Um, so that's one of the things you can get if you join Stampin' Up! starting um, January 4th during Celebration. Now, we as demonstrators could pre-order it. They have stopped the pre-order, so before you don't shoot the messenger, just know that it's been really popular. I think people are really going to go crazy over this. So they wanted to make sure they had enough for the people who are going to sign up during Celebration, and this will be available for current demonstrators to order again um, soon. So just watch for that. They just are taking care of inventory levels, making sure that it's available for the promotion that it was you know, intended for. So anyway, I'm very excited about this. You'll be able to get it um, again. So if you missed out, but you can totally, totally get it again. Okay, so there's that. Also, it's the kind of glass that won't shatter and break everywhere. It will just, it'll stay together, you know, more or less. I think that's how like windshields are so that you don't have like glass all up in your business. If you get into an accident, you're welcome. Okay, so there's that. Um, and I, uh, maybe tomorrow I'll do a little live with my pre-order stuff because I don't want to take the time tonight. All right, because we've got stamping to do. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you was, um, sorry, let me grab this really quick. I'm going to show you this in the catalog. So this is the annual catalog. There is this probably not super well known, but I think really awesome product called the Very Best Trio Punch. If you don't have this, you should get it. And we're going to use it on all of our projects today. Okay, so the Very Best Trio Punch. I'm going to write that on here because I can never remember the name of it. So Very Best trio punch. I wish I had like labels for all my punches. I've never done that. And I think I, I, I would really like that. I just haven't ever taken the time because I can never remember the correct name for them. Anyway, so there's three punches in one on here, which is really awesome. And we're going to use that today to make some cards. So we're going to start out like really simple. And I'm going to start with a piece of granny, or no, garden green cardstock. Okay, so garden green cardstock, gave that a good crease. And then I've got a piece of four by five and a quarter inch DSP. Now this, you can use either side of it. Um, this is from the garden, or, hold on, let me grab it. See, I told you I can never remember names. A walk in the forest. <laughs> anyway, so this pack of DSP, which is retiring, um, and I'm going to punch it. Now, like I said, there's three different punches on here. I'm going to just do one of them, and I'm going to punch the corner, okay? Now, I want the other side of this to go shung shung to match, so I'm going to flip it over and punch it. And now the curvy thing is up here. And let me show you the example of 
if that were not the case. Okay, so I just grabbed a scrap. So if I put this in here like that and then I put the other side in, the design doesn't line up. Okay, so what you wanna do is you want to punch it, boom. Then you want to flip it over and punch it again and then you get everything coordinates. Okay, so this side is wrong. It goes vroom instead of curve, it goes indent. But this side is right. Okay, so what I am gonna do is repeat that again on the bottom again flipping it over and punching it once again all right so now this has created like a really big label on on my card okay like a die cut but you can customize it to any size that you want which I think is pretty cool okay so I'm going to pop this up onto my card and like I said you can use either side of this I really love the side with the pop of red so I'm just gonna put this on like so. Okay, and then on the inside of my card, uh, I'm gonna put a layer um, as well, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna punch, punch, flip, punch, punch, flip, punch, and now we have a beautiful, all the same inside. Okay. I also should have, could have, did have <laughs> a little, the leftover piece of DSP from this. Oh, sugar. What happened to it? I'm giggling because I just said sugar. My um, assistant says sugar all the time. I typically go for a different word that starts with S, but that's okay. She's classier than I am. Oh, what did I do with it? Of course, it was with all my goodies, and now it's missing. So we're probably just going to have to cut another strip. But let's see. Let's see if there's one in here. Ooh. Well, we just have scraps. I was hoping there was one just the right size because I know there's actually another. Don't you hate when this happens? Okay, well, I have a piece. Just checking that it didn't fall on the floor because that happens to me pretty regularly as well. But I have a piece of DSP to put across here. I'm gonna wait because I know it's gonna turn up and there's two of them. Anyway, um, okay, so I thought it would be really handy to have a thank you card um, because, you know, you might receive some gifts throughout the holidays. So I'm going to use Softly Said, which is one of our new online exclusive stamp sets. And I'm just going to stamp thank you on here. And let me show you. That's the set, softly said, so cute. All right, so there's my thank you, and it's supposed to be uneven. It's not, you know, that's how the stamp is. I'm going to, going to uh, adhere this to a little layer. So this, by the way, and here's one of my favorite parts of this. Let me move this so you can see. I can measure this two and a half by two by three. Oh, because there is grids. Sorry. There's grids on our um, glass mat studio with measurements. And this is just so handy. So you can measure this so that you can measure the correct layer to cut to go on it. And then I'm going to take and put that on my card here. And this is a really great way to make thank you cards for after the holidays using up some of the um, maybe this is DSP that you bought for Christmas cards or something so now you can take and use this leftover stuff but making a thank you card out of it instead of um, a Christmas card if you know what I mean and speaking of that 
We have um, some, so we have our Stamp Happy Academy website um, and our subscribers uh, probably are aware that we have both a Facebook page where we do a card challenge every month. And we have one, we have two. There's a special Facebook page for our live sessions. And then there's also one just for the Stamp Happy Academy website. Anyway, um, so we have a card challenge on, on each of those. And this month, one of the card challenges is to use your Christmas stamps for not Christmas cards. Okay, so this is not technically that, but it is using some of my Christmas supplies for not Christmas cards. So it's kind of in the spirit. Though this is an all-occasion all stamp set, so it doesn't totally count. But I just love the look. Super simple. And of course, a little embellish. And I think I'm going to take some of these bloom and pearls and add them. They um, go with the modern garden stuff, but they also coordinate nicely with this. What did I do with my take your pick tool? So I put a few of those on here. So I've got a couple right there. Maybe we'll put a couple over here. And a couple up here. Oh, so fun. Okay, then of course this piece is going to go on the inside of my card and I'm s super mad because I can't find the dumb DSP piece. I know it's around here. I'm just going to break down and cut another piece. You know I'm going to find it. Oh wait, here's this no this is a different pattern <laughs> I was like all excited denied all right let me just quick cut a little sliver so that we can add this to our card Now, I feel like it's possible that this glass mat studio might open up for me. We'll see how it goes. A little more space to work with because it takes up a little more space. So I might not end up with just the size of my card. I might end up with the size of my glass studio of workspace. We'll see. You guys will have to keep me honest on this. All right, so there's that. And then... Ooh, and I feel like my seal works really nice because it's a nice even surface that it's working on. Oh, it's going to be great. Okay, so I just put that kind of coordinating label to the inside of my card. So simple and cute. All right, so there's our first card. Now, our second card, we're going to use... Uh, we're going to start with a... This is Coastal Cabana, the color that lets us know God loves us. And we're going to give that a good crease. And um, then I'm going to take a piece of Coastal Cabana that's three and a half by four and three quarters and uh, oh, this is actually the piece I'm going to do. This one. I was like, I know I cut another one for that. Anyway, we're going to cut this piece, or we're going to use this piece with um, our Beauty Abounds, I think is the name of these, decorative masks. And I'm going to take the one that is the snowflakes. I'm just going to put this down on my glass mat studio. Um, and I've got an... Uh, blending brush so I'll grab my coastal cabana now this is just so lovely you guys are gonna love this so I can take my ink pad so it's not gonna slide around it's gonna be you know sticking right in here it's, I mean it's moving around a little bit but it's not on here it would be like oh my gosh seriously did you see what I just did Ugh. this finger 
So I, I broke my thumbnail, which I do pretty often because when I get stressed, I bite on just my thumbnail pretty much. You can see the rest of my nails are okay. But this one little <laughs> more and more keeps breaking off of it because it's exposed, I guess. I don't know. And um, it, I keep losing more chunks of it. <laughs> and uh, I need to get it fixed, but I'm trying to hold out because I don't need to get my nails done for a little bit. But now I just made a mess of everything. Anyway. Oh, I should use my chamois to clean that off. All right. Back to this. Oh my gosh, I just squeezed water on this. It's becoming a whole thing. <laughs> get it together, Dina, if you can do it. Okay. So... Just blotting on my jeans here. Well, if push comes to shove, I have um, one that's done that's not a disaster. All right, so let's try that one more time. I've got some ink on my blending brush. I've made a mess of all things. I'm just going to blend the ink over my stencil in Coastal Cabana ink on Coastal Cabana cardstock. So I think this is technically a decorative mask, but you know what I'm saying. So pretty, pretty, pretty. And when I lift it up, there it is. Now, if I've gotten ink off to the side of my glass matte studio all I gotta do is wipe it off oh I can take my chamois and wipe this off and look at how clean that's getting it's just like a modern day crafting miracle oh such good news everything's clean now everybody's happy except my ink pad and my fingernail okay I can't wait to explain well I my lady's seen my fingernails in all sorts of colors but she'll be like hmm what happened here <laughs> nothing Nothing to see here. Okay, so <laughs> we've got this. Now my favorite um, thing to do with this is to create a tag. Okay, so I'm just going to do the two ends as a tag. Okay, and you can do the fancy tag, you can do the plain tag, whatever you want. I'm also going to go right in the middle and there's this little notch right here that helps you line this up in the center and you just want it flat, flush against the back, and then I'm gonna punch, and there's my little slot right in the back. All nicely centered. And uh, I'm going, as I said, this is gonna be a tag on my card. So we've got our card here, and I will pop this up here in a little bit, but I want to decorate this a little. So I have die cut a couple of circles and a couple of snowflakes to coordinate with this. And I found my piece of DSP I was looking for, of course. It was with this stuff. And then I also die cut this label. Now this is from the, let's see, it's the Lights Aglow uh, stamp set. Brightest Glow, pardon me. And then the coordinating dies. That's where this die came from. And then we're going to use Seasons Greetings on here. So I like this because this is a really nice kind of generic holiday card. You can, um, it's because it's not very Christmassy, you know, if you are one of those people who maybe didn't get their cards done in time to send yet, you could make this one or, you know, whatever. Um, this would also make a lovely thank you card just like the first card we made. So lots of options. Now I die cut my um, snowflakes. These are die cut from the chic dies that you know were in the um, season of chic bundle from last year. And then I've got two basically coordinating circles from the stylish shapes dies and we're going to adhere those together like this. Da, da, da. and then like this and then we're going to add them to our little tag okay so I think I'm going to put this on now tell me doesn't that look like there's a little heart in the center of this I just love that uh, I'm going to adhere this 
larger one directly to my tag and then this smaller one I'm gonna pop up kind of over here and you know we're gonna embellish so don't worry right like that oh so cute okay then we're going to um okay we're going to emboss our card here okay so i'm gonna just take and drop this in here so I've got my little embossing buddy. Um, then I'm gonna stamp. In Versamark. Like this. And then we're gonna heat emboss. With white, of course, because you probably know that's one of my favorite powders, or I use it like the most, is white. And I love me some white on black. Um, black cardstock, white embossing. I just think that's really awesome. Classy looking, you know, especially on colors. Okay, so we'll heat that up real quick. There's just nothing as exciting as the heat gun melting the embossing powder. Smells like crafting. I love it. <laughs> Do you guys feel that way? Oh my gosh, I just love this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take and put this kind of on here like so. And then I'll put my dimensionals on kind of the ends and then it'll fit over the top of all of this business. So cute. Isn't that adorable? Now, this is really cute, right? Should we take it up a notch in cuteness? We're just going to bring in some of our black gingham checkered ribbon. Now, this is the stuff from the annual catalog because it's white. I love the mini catalog stuff, but it's vanilla, so I chose white to go with this particular one. Grab my ribbon scissors. And we're just going to tie a bow on here because we can. I love this. So this um, little slot that our hole punched is just perfect for tags and ribbons like this. But it also will hold ribbons thicker than this, which is kind of nice because... Sometimes that's a little trickier to work with, but oh, look at how cute. Um, this is the very best trio punch, I believe is the name of the punch. I showed it at the very beginning of my video, like in the catalog, but it's definitely one I would recommend for tomorrow's free shipping day. Um, and again, free shipping with orders of $75 or more. And when you order through me, you will get a treat from the upcoming mini catalog as a gift. So, yay. And look at how fun that is. Now, I'm going to take some of these adhesive-backed glitter sequins to jazz things up a touch because they're just so dang cute all right so i'm gonna take 
And then where did my take your pick tool go? I keep losing stuff. Um, ba -ba -ba. It was out here. Well, I have like three of them. You'd think I'd be able to find one. So we'll just use this one. Okay, so I'm going to put a little or big one right here kind of in the center there and then a little one over here and I love these because they're not too thick you know so like you can add them to your cards and they won't create bulk and cause problems so they're good for mailing and just put a few more on there because they're just so sparkly and fun so isn't that cutie patootie? Okay, now we, of course, can put a little on the inside of our card. Let me just grab the panel. And for this, uh, I can take that, I've got enough ink left on my, on my blending brush, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do kind of down here and then I'm gonna show you kind of a fun little trick okay so I just have a little bit of the ink blending at the bottom and because I don't want it to be I don't want to say ugly but to clean up the look a little I'll just take and add some ribbon across here okay so I'm just gonna put a glue dot on here and stretch it across like this and then it's almost like we put you know some DSP on here but we just did the ink blending across and that just makes it all tied all together so nice and we did season's greetings and uh, there are of course some coordinating sentiments for the inside in our um, brightest glow stamp set so I think I'm going to use seasons greetings wishing you a season of hope and light or happy new year um, it is the season all is merry and bright hoping your Christmas shines bright with the love of family and friends I think I'm gonna say happy well mm. I think I'm going to go with hoping your Christmas is shines bright with the love of family and friends. Because that's just nice. Ooh, I haven't used that stamp yet. Okay. So all the better. Now I am kind of a stickler about this. So I'm just going to trim this because it will make me crazy if I catch the edge on my rubber here. So you can see I'm... Um, this, you know, I'm only anal about a couple of things in my stamping. This is one of them. I trim all my red, my red rubber sets just because it makes me crazy if they are, if the edges get caught. Okay. I'm only crazy about a couple of things. All right. So uh, I think I'm just going to stamp it right there. Oh, so nice. And then we'll put this. Oh, but I just realized my card goes sideways. Poo! <laughs> okay, so we're we're gonna fix it because I guarantee you, y'all have been in this position before where you messed up just like this. So let's let's show let's come up with a way to fix it okay it will probably involve a die cut <laughs> so I'm thinking da, 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 I used this die and I can put it right over there so let me quick cut this out with a scrap of some white Okay, 
So we'll stamp this on here. Oh gosh, and then I stamped it like off center. I can fix that too. Um, I'm gonna adhere this directly over the, the one that's the wrong version, but gosh, we're gonna put it in straight at least. Sheesh. Okay, and then to kind of cover up my issue, <laughs> Uh, of it not being cent kind of centered on there. This one will work. I'm going to put um, a couple of these like that. There we go. Now I fixed a mistake from my mistake. <laughs> but it all works. Isn't that cute? So I love how this one came out. So if you don't have those decorative masks, these ones I highly recommend. Um, there's several in the set. I just put mine in a little Ziploc here. So there's the fall ones, and then there's the pieces that make up the sunflower, the sunflower leaves, and the center of the sunflower. And then there's this kind of hound's toothy one. So these are really great masks. And I was kind of surprised they were being discontinued. So I definitely recommend these. Um, and then our next card is a super easy one. Um, that's a little more masculine themed. Okay. So this time I'm going to start with a piece of crumb cake cardstock. This one is four and a quarter by two and a half. And I'm going to make a tag and I'm going to use that plain, um, the plain, you know, punch side of the punch, the plain tag punch. And we'll pop, pop this in the middle for our other slit thing. Okay, then um, I have a... very vanilla card base that I'm going to fold. So this is thick vanilla card stock. So we'll give that a good crease. And look at all the room I have. I think this thing is going to give me more room on my desk. <laughs> okay, now I'm using another, um, this is an online exclusive stamp set. It is called Feathered Flight which is really pretty. It's kind of one of those distinctive stamp sets. And we're going to stamp just real simple in early espresso on our crumb cake tag. Just set that aside for it so I don't miss it, mess it up. Okay, so I'm gonna ink up this little, it's kind of like a pond and rocks sort of, you'll see. Okay, so I've got that on there. And then I'm going to stamp, I'm glad you're in my life, which is just a lovely sentiment to say. And then here you can test it out. Yep, that is the correct direction. And I'll just stamp that up here. Okay, there we go. Isn't that super easy? Now, because I stamped on my glass mat, I'm just going to wipe that off real quick so we don't get ink on anything since we seem to have an issue here. Now, I have a really fun little tip for you on this. And that is to take a little skinny strip of um, early espresso cardstock. So I didn't have ribbon in early espresso. And so I'm just going to do where I do, you know, my faux suede. I run my emboss or my phone folder all over this piece of cardstock till those layers of cardstock literally start to separate apart from one another. And then what's left on the inside is kind of this uh, faux suede look. Okay, and you can see it kind of pulled out together. And this is thinner than regular cardstock, so I'm going to use it like it's ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to put it through here like I have some ribbon, but it's it's not ribbon, it's cardstock. And it's got kind of a cool little texture to it. So what I'm gonna do is hold this together with some linen thread. 
Okay. So I'm just going to take a double length of linen thread. And I'm not going to tie a bow on this. I'm just going to tie a knot. In fact, I could even quadruple it. Or well, maybe we'll do it in thirds. That's probably better. It gives us a little more length. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just tie a knot on here to hold it just as if this was ribbon. Okay. And then I'll trim the ends. So now I've got my faux suede ribbon with a little manly knot on the top. Okay, now I'm going to take and I have dye or embossed with the timber embossing folder, a uh, four by five and a quarter piece of vanilla. And we're going to attach that to our card. Like a so. Okay. And then I'm just going to add my tag to my card. Popped up, of course, because I mean, why wouldn't you? And then to finish this off, I'm just going to add a couple of my rustic metallic dots. this like right there so manly isn't that awesome and this set is really nice um you know there's if you wanted to sub substitute the ducks in the water you could the thinking of you is really nice um New day, new adventure to me is like a retirement sentiment. So I think I think this is going to be a great set to work with. Okay, so there's our third card. Now our last card is my favorite. You'll see why. Oh, I should say I really like the snowflake one. Of course, those were my colors. So this last card is really um, another pretty easy one. It's just takes a few passes through your die cut machine and it's featuring the paper florist dies which are some of my favorites um here's some of them <laughs> the other ones are kind of loosey-goosey here by my machine I don't have I don't think I have them all on here but there's a whole bunch of dies that come in the paper florist die yeah I'm missing the one we're using on this card because it's probably sitting here by my machine but um here's what we're gonna do and I I have a couple because I love I love the viewer input you know got a couple of options for this so uh, I'm not sure which card base we'll do but we'll choose that in a minute but I've got um a tag that I created and I embossed this with this is an embossing folder and I believe it's on sale it's on the retirement list I can't remember if this is my catalog where I marked what is page 60 no I did not mark this but I'm pretty sure this is on sale it's it's a set of two and there's wavy lines and these circles uh, oh, I didn't look at the name of it, uh, which is funny. It is Cheery Patterns. That was why I brought the catalog out, was to look at the pattern, the name. Okay, so anyway, I just, um, Debbie asked, when can the Paper Florist card be ordered? It's, if you've been getting my 12 Days of Christmas emails, it's in that. I have another one coming out. So if you're on my email list, you'll get them. Uh, the registration is open, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I made my little tag and um, it can go either way. And I think we'll do the fancy 
corner on here. No, maybe, well, oh, I really stress. It gets too busy. We'll do the plain one just because we've already got the embossed circles on here. So, okay. So there's our um, tag. And then I die cut, now this is a cool die because it comes with four flowers in one pass, which I kind of like that part. And so we're going to just take and put these together like this. So you know me, I gotta curl them. Okay, so I'm going to actually layer them like this you could do them offset if you want but that's you know that's a little bit boring in my opinion um i'm just trying to show you a, a slightly different way to use this so i'll take and adhere this lined up um one of the bigger ones with one of the smaller ones like that okay and then i'm going to repeat that twice more so we're going to have three flowers on here and then i die cut um, some white centers and some colorful centers. Okay. Just gotta curl these because it's so worth the curl, I'm telling you. Okay, and then I have an extra set when, and we'll use that for the inside of our card. All right, so I have like... Um, oh, I, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. Like that. And I've got this big sunshiny one. And we'll put this one in here like this. Okay. So what I love about this set is you can really have fun playing with different combinations of flowers and centers and colors and what I love is that these are super simple flowers because we're just layering up white cardstock but then we kind of make a punch by having the colored parts pop out if you know what I mean Okay, so there we go. So fun. And I don't know, maybe that might be too much. So let's try this one. A little more calm. I like that better. Okay, so isn't that so cute? All right, so let's finish gluing these together. You can use glue dots. You can use seal. You can use liquid glue, whatever your, whatever's easiest for you. Okay. And so I've got Poppy Parade for the center of this one, Daffodil Delight, and of course, Coastal Cabana. And here's where you can really play with a lot of different color combinations, like Balmy Blue instead of Coastal Cabana would have been really cute, but I had Coastal Cabana cardstock out from that last card, so I just went with it. I love the bright, happy colors after making all these Christmas cards all this time. So fun and you know you can really just play with different possibilities on this I think it's lots of fun playing with color combos and whatnot so anyway um, and I'm really excited about the class because the projects are kind of a little a little bit out of the box but also definitely giving you lots of ideas of how to use these dies I think you'll be You'll be really happy with it. Okay, so there's that. Now, I also have some leaves, which we can rip off <laughs> and kind of tuck as necessary in here, like that, and like that. Oh, isn't this just so fun? I just love the colors. Um, oh, Sherry says, there I go again with my white on white. I'm telling you, white on white with a pop of color is the bomb. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love, I love when I can create 
bright, fun things. And white on white is, it's just a good, clean look, you know? It's just pretty. And after making all these Christmas cards, and I like Christmas cards, I've been listening to Christmas music all day. In fact, I was like, gosh, how am I going to not make Christmas cards today when I have all this Christmas music playing in my office? But um, I think we did all right. Oh, so cute. Okay, so now do we put it on the red card base or the lemon lime twist card base? Oh, red. And by red, I mean Poppy Parade or uh, Lemon Lime Twist. So tell me, what do you think? Vote in the comments. And then I'm going to prep the little flower we're going to stick on the inside. Because, I mean, you got to stick one on, on the inside, right? Okay, it's getting heated. Who will win, Poppy Parade or Lemon Lime Twist? Or oddly enough, red versus green. <laughs> okay, and I've got my two flowers. And I love the look of those. So cool. Trying to figure out how to get this on here. I don't think I like that. Maybe I'll just put that right there. Okay, let's take a look at the voting. Lemon lime, lemon lime, puppy. Ooh, someone said. Poppy, poppy, lemon, poppy, 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 red, red, lime, poppy, poppy. Okay, it's poppy wins. That's okay. I love that somebody said black. I love a good white on white with a pop of color and some black. And I'll show you how we're going to make that happen in just a second. Oh, isn't this cute? I mean, of course, we're popping this up. You all knew that was coming. And I just love this embossing folder. And, you know, this is one of those kind of hidden gems in the mini catalog. It was sort of hidden by the whale stamp set. And so I think a lot of people missed it, um, myself included. I didn't actually order it right away. Uh, I think I had to come back for that one. And, you know, it, like I said, it kind of caught me off guard. But I really loved it. So here's where the black comes in. I die cut a second one of these little labels and we could throw that on here. We just need to find the right sentiment for it, which don't worry, that's not gonna be a problem because I think I'm gonna go with one of my faves. Um, happy Labels, which um, love you and miss you, or there's no one like you, or life is better with you, um, or just a note. Any of those would be um, good. You are my happy place. I think that would fit on there too. Let's double check. Yes, it would. So, and I think what I might do is cut this off a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'll trim the end of that off. So let's pull out our embossing goodies once again. And drop the embossing buddy on here. I like doing it in the tray because then that keeps that 
powdery film off your work surface because I don't know that's like chalkboard blah, blah, blah. it gave me goosebumps just telling you that <laughs> okay so I'm gonna um ink this up and we'll stamp it down using a little Versamark okay you are my happy place and did I already put my white powder away not too bad Okay. We'll heat this up. And this just makes me happy. And then I'm just going to trim off the end of this because it's kind of too long for my sentiment. And then I can make it flush with my tag. Okay. I like using my trimmer for that so I get a nice 90 degree angle on this. Ooh, I ended up with a little powder on my... Thing. Oh, no, it's on my shirt. Don't worry. All right. So I'm going to just put that on there. Popped up, obviously. it on straight though it's just going over our bottom flower just a little and how flipping cute is that but wait there's more I feel like we got to put some of this ribbon at the top I mean I had it out for the other card so why wouldn't we put a little on here um when it, you know you could color this too which is always fun but I'm just going to leave it black and white because then we'd, we'd have to figure out what color to color it. I would probably go with yellow, but. <laughs> oh. So stinking cute. I hope you like this one. It is my favorite. Can you tell? Doesn't this just sort of scream Dina a little, a little bit loud? <laughs> okay. But wait, there's more. Just a little more. Uh, I'm going to use some iridescent rhinestones because these are my favorite embellishment. They continue to be my favorite embellishment. And I'm just going to tuck a few of these in some different places on here like that. So fun. And then on the inside, we'll just add this. Now there's no color in here, but you know, it's on the, the card that's got the color. So I think that'll be great. So I hope you loved this one as much as I did. Now, if you're loving the cards we made today, uh, the thumbs up would just rock my world. It really helps when you give me the thumbs up on the videos. Whether you're watching live or the replays, it just helps so much. So thank you for that. And let me bring in all the cards that I've made today so you can see. So we've got the thank you card. We've got the season's greetings card. We've got the I'm glad you're in my life card. And you're my happy place card. All featuring this very best trio punch which is just super duper awesome it's a three for one punch so I just love it and of course you can do so many different things with it but I really like this one so 
Um, obviously, you can see my favorite is to just make a classic tag, but I also love using that fancy pattern too. Um, and you know, it just it works. It so works. So I hope you love these projects, guys. And um, don't forget, free shipping tomorrow. And I would be so, so, so grateful for your business. If you loved these cards and they inspired you, I'd be just so grateful that you shopped in my online store um, and enjoyed those. Of course, if you would like to get registered for the classes I've got this month, which are the very or year to celebrate and the paper florist class, drop me an email. Otherwise, I have an email going out to you to, to, to let you know about the free shipping. Um, and I also have two more days of our 12 days of Christmas coming out. So um, watch for those emails. Anyway, thank you so much for being here with me today. I will see you next week. It will be my last live um, for the year next week because I'm taking, like I said, a little time off with my family over the holidays. But I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you on Monday. Bye, guys.